Well, you only have a few. Uh, you only have uh, two more weeks left mm-hmm. until I leave. Okay. Okay. Ready. My name is Kamau Kalfani, and we are back, and we're talking to Anthony Sloan. I, I was going to say Anthony Anthony Sloan with some title, but there's so many things that he's done, I probably uh, garbled that. So why don't we pick up? Where we left off, we were talking about... I can title about, myself. Well, how do you title yourself? I'm a self-described cultural revolutionary. I'm the progenitor of NOMO Radio. Cultural revolutionary. Yeah. Uh, during the 60s, that term, did that term get a black eye during the 60s? I don't care what it got. This is what, that's what I am. You know, in the 60s, I was political. You know, but I realized that culture... Look, if you want to study the history of the world... You can do it two two ways. You can study wars, mm-hmm. or you can study culture. Mm-hmm. And to me, since I'm I'm a, I'm a Pacifican, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I'm into Pacifica, peace. You know what I mean. So the only thing I ha- only option I have is culture. Mm-hmm. And I know that culture. I, I look at everything and culture. Even somebody like what's the what's the big what's the big bad guy? They always say uh, uh, Hitler. Isn't mm-hmm. that that's a bad guy, right? Yeah, Hitler. You know what I mean. Well, you know how he got his ideas? He watched this. He saw well, hey, really, one of the, the, the things for him, he watched this, 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 this opera on, on Roman, on the Roman Empire, mm-hmm. you know, and that's what got his nationalism up, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it was culture that, 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 that fueled him. I mean, that may, may not be a good example. I was just about to say that may not be the best example of what culture can do. But I'm just saying that culture, mm-hmm. so many times, I mean, you, you just, just, just take... Just take even in war, you know what I mean? Uh, you, you know, um, with the 369th Armory, you know, uh, uh, those soldiers when they they went over, they they had their little jazz band with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And the, the and the people they they may or may not remember the war, but they remember the reason why jazz is so big in in Paris and France or whatever it has because mm-hmm. of jazz. The, the cats came over with their thing. Wow. They wanted, they didn't want the soldiers back. They wanted the music back. You you put me right in the mind of uh, you know George Tate's George Edward Tate's the Black Brigade, uh, the poem that he did. Or I, I love his book At War. Man, yeah, I had that someplace. I yeah, that brothers. Yeah, he was just here the other day. Something uh, else. But let's go back to Cape Codes. First of all, how did you derive the name Cape Codes? Uh, that's interesting because uh, well, I, just, I came up with well, we're we're in the Western Cape. Of, mm-hmm. of, 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 well, I'm, Down in I'm, South Africa. I'm, yeah, I'm in South Africa. I live in Cape Town, South Africa now. There's, you know, the Western Cape, the Eastern Cape, but we're in the Cape. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's, a lot of things down there is Cape. So mm-hmm. I named it Cape Codes. And then I uh, call it modern audio drama because that's mm-hmm. what we do. And modern audio drama just means that instead of, it's out of tradition of radio drama, but because you have mm-hmm. all these other devices, you know, downloading this and, and, and CDs and whatever, whatever the medium is, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So rather than radio drama, which Confines it to radio, right, right. broadcast. So if rather than saying broadcast, you just say audio, audio drama. Yeah, it encompasses more things. But um, so so I came up with the name Cape Codes. Sounded spiffy to me, you know. And mm-hmm. I always put things together. Even when I was arts director, but capital A R T S, no space, capital D. You know, mm-hmm. arts, arts department, capital D, you know, like mm-hmm. like that. So I always put things together like that. So that's why it's just a capital, capital mm-hmm. like that. But then we were, um, I worked, one of the kids down there, his name is Emzalisi. Emzalisi is a fantastic young guy. Man, this guy invents stuff, you know what I mean? Anyway, he's, he's a graphics person. So mm-hmm. we was working on the graphics for Cape Coast. And he says, he says Anthony, you need, a, you need a tag. You need a something. And we had to get mm-hmm. it off real quick. Mm-hmm. So I just, I don't know. Then I came up with this thing, your eyes won't believe your ears. Mm-hmm. So that so that's become that's what it's become. Uh, that's our little thing. And then you got this <laughs> microphone here like that, you know, with the old time microphone out of the D. And I mean, that's so what's, I, what's it like gelling in South Africa and creating? Oh, it's, that's interesting. And oh, because yeah. look, let me just ask you this: with all that background that you have, now you're in a place where we know there are several places in Africa, a lot of places where they don't know the history, they don't know what happened in America. You know, and now here you are, a source, and you're right amongst the people. Are you kind of like an ambassador? Look, it's, 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 South Africa is an interesting place. There's this, 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 this saying, I won't say joke, it's a saying. Mm-hmm. Cape Town is not South Africa, and South Africa is not Africa. Mm. It's like saying New York is not United States. Mm-hmm. It's a different reality. Mm-hmm. It's a cosmopolitan city. But, but the thing is, every culture has their own thing. 
Mm. And no culture, I shouldn't say it this way, even though we, we don't want to believe this, but no culture is really much more powerful than another culture. Mm -hmm. So they got a lot of richness there. So mm -hmm. I'm an interface. An ambassador, I don't know. I'm an interface. Yeah, I've got a lot of information about it. I mean, they're sort of 20 years behind in terms of some of the cultural things they do. I mean, mm -hmm. their, their radio, their broadcast radio is like bad 80s radio in the United States. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They they got a, a, a certain segments of, of the community down there. They have this. They have a, a well, it's tick crystal meth, but it's a, it's a like what we had crack problem. You know, mm. they'll shoot you for your cell phone, that kind of thing. So so you know, it's like a time warp. But at the same time, because they get so much American culture. Remember, TV didn't come to them to seventy six or something like that. So mm -hmm. the oil of them grew up on TV. Then there's a certain entitlement they feel because they, they won the, the country back, but, but, the, but there's a certain dynamics that happen mm -hmm. that, that, that's not happening because they've gone whole hog capitalism without, you know, without any orientation, you know what I mean? So you got, so you got you know, these images that people are seeing. Actually, no, I don't know what you mean. Could you elaborate on that a little bit? The term you, know, you use, whole hog capitalism? Well, the thing is, you know, the intermaterial gains, the interconsumerism. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're into, you know, I mean, like I said, cell phone. I, I have an old Nokia cell phone down there, mm -hmm. and the kids laugh at me. They say, "What's that? Oh, was that a doorstop?" <laughs> you know? so it's, they're just the ones. It's, that's one of those cell phones when you leave on the table. People say, oh, "Excuse me, uh, you forgot your cell phone." <laughs> because they get the newest thing, and the funny thing is, they don't mm. have the money for it. So mm. they'll, 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 you know, maybe, maybe. Under 2,000, maybe you might make under 2,000 rand a month mm. for your whole household. And the cell phone costs like 2,500 rand. And how many rands equal a dollar? It's per basically seven to one. Okay. But you can't, don't forget the, those conversions. The, 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 the problem is that they don't have it. But mm -hmm. the images they have are still those, you know, the... You know those, the whole sexy. So this is kind of like what you talked about earlier. They've had the menu fed to them, and now they're trying to see. But but the young people, and and, and then then a lot of people feel entitled. They're, they're waiting for the government to do something. Mm -hmm. But the kids I work for, for instance, they're not waiting. It's this amazing story. Those are this guy is just an amazing cat. He's just, mm -hmm. I'm just I can't even explain this cat. So. I mean, I've had a lot of people that I've mentored, you know what I mean? But this cat is that's one of them, right right up there. I mean, you know, there's, there's a sister in, 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 uh, that I met in, in, in um, Senegal named Kumbatore. Mm -hmm. Fantastic young, young person. I mean, we talk about Jay, Jay Smooth, fantastic young person. Those is in that same mode. Mm -hmm. So I always have faith in the younger people. You just get to find the right ones, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Anyway, so what, what's going to happen with Cape Codes is that what has happened is I do these things called stay away conclaves. Mm -hmm. or I do these conclaves. Stay away conclaves. It's a 24-hour thing. They start in, in one day, and they, they have to go all night, stay up all night, and do their mm -hmm. scripts and everything like that, do the costumes. They do, mm -hmm. they do all this stuff, da-da-da. Then they present the next afternoon under sleep deprivation <laughs> 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 and whatever. But, it's, but, but they get it done. Okay, we, so since we, since, then this guy, remember I mentioned this guy, M. Zalisi, he made mm -hmm. this thing called a triple TV. Basically, it's just a rolling um, a storyboard, mm -hmm. you know, it's similar to this. I heard about this guy in the Midwest and uh, did this whole thing about the Mississippi. It was a big sensation where he did this whole three mile thing on the Mississippi, like art mm -hmm. thing on the Mississippi, same kind of thing. Anyway, so because they have, um, because they did the scripts, they do the scripts as, as, as radio, as audio drama, right? Mm -hmm. And because we have the storyboard happening, if you take the storyboard, I'm going to break for a second. Can I break? Can I wait until they clear out? Yeah, I don't know why they're making all that. Well, you know, they think it's soundproof. They don't know. It's, it's, it's a lot of people, you know. So We, we do these called, called uh, audio um, uh, conclaves. Mm -hmm. It's in the modern audio drama. So what happens is because we have, because you have the storyboard happening, and you have the script, right? Mm -hmm. When you put a storyboard and a script together, what is that but a graphic novel, mm -hmm. right? If you, if you, um, if you, if you basically, what what is a novel, but um, dialogue, which is what the, in the graphic novel dialogue, mm -hmm. and long descriptive passages. You know, you're you're riding down in the car with this person, mm -hmm. you're talking, and all of a sudden they see a tree. And then this guy starts talking about the tree, and the narrator comes in, and it's like 29 pages on this tree. <laughs> <laughs> then you finally get to the big house, and you start dialoguing again. Then you, then, 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 then you talk about the big house for like 29 more pages. So, mm -hmm. it's, so basically, I tell them, if you can do dialogue, mm -hmm. 
which is what, what scripting is, then basically you're also a playwright, mm -hmm. which means you can be a screenwriter, mm -hmm. which means you can be a graphic novelist, which means you can be a novelist. Mm -hmm. So from this germ of, of a thing. So what happens, what we've just done, actually, I wonder if I have it. I don't know if I have it. I don't think I have it with me. I don't think I have it with me, unfortunately. But the thing is, I'm sorry, I'm out the shot, aren't I? Mm -hmm. No, I don't have it with me. Anyway, they came out with a graphic novel because we did this stay away conclave, and then the next, and then what I added stay away conclave, I, I got a group of them, the writers, and worked more intensely on them, mm -hmm. and they did for World AIDS Day last year, they did these scripts around AIDS and health issues, and they, and they, and so we put stuff on graphic novels, and we put it on, we, we put it on a radio stations, 40 radio stations got the, got the AIDS thing right happening. Then what we did was uh, we took some of those stories and some of the stories from the conclave mm -hmm. and we put together the, a, a volume called Aye. And Aye is a term in South Africa that the young people use. Basically, it's like, the closest thing would be like word. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They, uh, how, mm -hmm. how to explain it? You know, it's just a slang. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but this graphic novel is unique to Cape Town. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember, everybody is, everybody is, 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 is imitating the West. Everybody's imitating European comic books. Mm -hmm. And they're imitating, you know, American comic books and graphic novels. They're imitating Japanese style. So mm -hmm. to have this, so it was the first publication that's come out from Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like amazed at it. So what has happened now is that, in fact, one of the reasons I have to go, well, I've got to go back anyway, but one of the reasons, one of the things that's happening is, is the, the biggest, the guy that does the biggest business plans in all of South Africa mm. has gotten wind, somehow got wind of this. So he's putting a business plan together because basically when they saw the, the um, IA book, mm -hmm. came out of the audio drama experience, mm -hmm. right? Then another group, at least in his crowd, they want to do short films of it for the SABC, mm -hmm. which is the uh, South African Broadcast Company, whatever it is, mm -hmm. the big, like, you know, broadcast things. Yeah, oh, yeah we, ju we ju actually just, just did a show with them, uh, The Learning Tree and their company. Okay, so you know who they are. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's, what's happening, we, now we have a film component, we have the graphic novel component, and we have the audio drama component. There's three engines. So basically, MZLC does the film component, there's Belgian um, uh, uh, sister um, uh, Leva does the graphic novel mm -hmm. component, mm -hmm. and I do the audio drama component. But I'm training those that do the audio, audio mm -hmm. drama component. Mm -hmm. Now, so that's what's happening. You know, Cape when Coast. you mentioned this part about the uh, the hog of capitalism, I couldn't help but think of the political scenario going on in South Africa. And what do you see through your eyes and through your understanding? What do you see happening on the political front, not just there in South Africa, but in that entire region, including Zimbabwe? Oh, man, you don't want to ask me about Zimbabwe. Because you know, I was here in 2005 for a month. I had to get some stuff straight. And I talked to Alambe, and Alambe gave me this 45-minute lecture on Zimbabwe. Let me explain something to you. Last year, I was at a BICO conference. I talked to Kenneth Kunda, all right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the founding president of Zimbabwe. He's the one that got of, of rather Zambia. He's the one that got Mugabe out of jail. Mm -hmm. Okay? Everybody that talks about this situation, they go up to like 1980. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to deal with, you know, look, notwithstanding about, you know, CIA, look, the CIA or whatever, they're always going to mess with something. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? you got to look at that. But, 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 My question, in fact, let me cut this short because I don't want to get into the politics. My question to everybody, what are the Chinese generals doing there? What are the Chinese generals doing there? There, as in, in Zimbabwe. As in Zimbabwe. The Chinese, there are 53 African nations, 53 African countries. China is officially in 50 of them. Mm. So you can get your analysis about CIA, uh, New York Times, blah, 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 blah. But, but people need to get a grip and start looking beyond, you know, your, 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 regular, uh, your regular, you know, foes, enemies, you know, but so, whatever. But some people have heralded China's entry into Africa as 
some type of, you know, second coming of Christ, that, that the Chinese coming into Africa are going to bring infrastructure and they're going to be able to do so many things. Your analysis? Well, didn't, didn't, didn't Livingston bring, you know, infrastructure? <laughs> I'm sorry, yo, look, I'm just very, look, let me put it this way. Uh, the, the, the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, do they really need somebody digging the coltan out of their ground? Why can't they dig the, let me, forget, forget all that stuff. Okay, let me do, let me do a, let me just do this, cut to the chase, because I'm not going to get into this, 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 this thing, you know. Yeah, but like, now, no, no, yeah. I'm going to give you one example. Botswana. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's South Africa. You got Namibia. Well, I guess I'm looking at the camera. You got Namibia over here. You know, you got Mozambique over here. You got Zimbabwe landlocked over here. Mm -hmm. You got Zambia up there. You got South Africa. You got Botswana right there. Mm -hmm. Again, landlocked. I mean, they don't have a lot of people. When De Beers... <laughs> When the diamond people said, but someone said, yo, let, I'm just going to throw some numbers out. This, these are not correct numbers. I'm just making this up, right? Say the beers is taking the diamonds out. They're making 80% profit. They're mm -hmm. giving 20% to, to uh, Botswana. But someone said, yo, no, nah, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, then we'll just leave. And we'll just, we won't do anything. So, well, they say, bye, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Mm hmm then all of a sudden the beers come back, well, well what do you think we should have? And Botswana says, we'll take 8% and give you 20%. That's not the direct figures, don't worry, you, you, you historians, you all people, you can get it right. So what happens? They ain't got no choice. Mm -hmm. They got to do it. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Now Botswana, I got students at the University of Cape Town, free education. Botswana can provide everything they want for their people. So you so you you gonna tell me the Chinese are gonna let you have eighty percent while they only take twenty percent? Mm. The CIA America's gonna let you have whoever you want to talk, gonna let, let you have eighty percent while you take. Mm. And not only that, forget all that stuff. Let's talk, just talk about just the mentality, the mentality of so many, dare I say so called African leaders. Okay, African official African leaders, mm. right? Their, their basic philosophy is, well, the European did it, now it's our turn, so we'll do it. Who are you doing it to? Mm. Look, man, I was just, I was, don't get me, I was, look, I was just in Zimbabwe, I was just in Zimbabwe, passing through Zimbabwe, I should say. I have to tell people this, because this, is, this, is, this has nothing to do with anything, this is an innocent thing. I'm on a train, and, and we're going through Zimbabwe. In Zimbabwe, this has coal, this is a, mm -hmm. a train of coal. I see these hunks of coal. It's the most beautiful coal I've ever seen in my life. This is, coal is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Black, it was beautiful. I can't explain to you. I'm not even a materialistic kind of person. We're going like, that's some good looking coal. <laughs> they got, the, 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 the cows are like huge. So I can see why they want people in the cities. But how do you get them out of the cities? You don't get them out by beating on them. But what I wanted to say is when and you, you, go, you go there and you go try to talk in a bar to somebody about some, what, when this election stuff was happening, you know, they were beating up on their own party people. People having meetings, uh, just a regular Christian meeting in their house. People coming, killing people indiscriminately. So people can say what they want. You know, all your evidence about this person in this person's pocket or that person's pocket. But, yo, if you can't talk in the bar, the political situation in the bar, because you might, you know, you ain't going to get home, that speaks volumes. All right? I was in Zambia talking to, in Zambia they have this thing where you have the you have your prime, whatever, the, the, the big head of the country, and then you have these deputies in different things. And they have a nice thing because the deputies keep on rotating different say there's six or whatever county, they keep on rotating. So you don't get, there's much graft and corruption because you, you might be mm -hmm. in six months, whatever it is, you're someplace else. For some freaky accident, I happened to, and was very quite by accident, I happened to be talking to the guy that was just came out of being the deputy minister or whatever for that mm -hmm. 
Providence down there by, by Livingston, uh, um, Zambia. And he, you know, we, I, I just, they did my regular thing. I just messed with him. He walked in and had his hat. And I said, oh, you've been getting big game. We just started talking. He heard my American accent. And he was, and, and this was right before Iowa caucus. The mm-hmm. Iowa thing mm-hmm. came in. And so we was talking. So he's, he's talking politics. And he said, well, do you think Obama's going to say, oh, Obama's going to win? And he says, no. I said, yeah, he's going to win. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, the next night, he won. And so the guy came in the same bar because it was just me and him at this, this mm-hmm. what was, I guess it's a long story, but, you know, this abandoned hotel. And, and I explained to him why Obama was going to win. I had all these kind of things. And through that whole, this was like last December, January, mm-hmm. this before the whole thing really blew up in February. And then when I was going through Zambia, I went to Namibia coming back. And I told him, Obama's going to win. I've given all these reasons, the five reasons, and then mm-hmm. they would say, no, he's not going to win. I said, well, why? They didn't, he's just not going to win. I said, what? They won't let him win. Because the mentality of mm-hmm. the world, I'm bringing up Obama, whatever happened, because I'm not a, like I guess I'm a Pacifican, okay? I mean, Obama with his little thing about going to Afghanistan, I'm not what into it. What does that mean, you're Pacifican? This is Pacifica. I mean, you're, you're a pacifist? Well, we were, we were, were we not founded by pacifists? Yeah, I'm just for the record. <laughs> when I was in the Air Force, I was a medic, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not into war, all okay, right? Okay, I got you, I got you. But let me just, um, uh, since I went off on Obama, let me just explain one thing about mm-hmm. Afghanistan. When I was in Belize, I mentioned I was in Belize one time. I, I love libraries. Mm-hmm. I love books. And I think I was either in Punta Gorda or Dangri, I forget. And I walked past the library. For some reason, I just went in. Well, because it was a library, I went in. <laughs> For some reason, I just went down. There was nobody in this library. I went, and I just put the book off the shelf. And I opened it up, and it was a book on Vietnam. Mm-hmm. I just opened up, and I started reading. And it was an account of, of, from the Vietnam's, Vietnamese point of view, mm-hmm. or the Viet Cong's point of view, I guess at the time, that they, there was a medical facility underground in the tunnels, and every Friday they would give a cultural performance. Mm. And the high command told them, you have to stop doing this because they can hear you and America's going to hear you. And the head doctor with a roadmap, we're not giving up our cultural performances. Mm. Now this is tunneling in, you know, underground or whatever have you. Mm-hmm. Okay, fast forward to when I was, again, with the D.C. sniper and working around Silver Spring, <laughs> Maryland. Just before the war, just before this current, you know, uh, bombing Bush mm-hmm. you know, and, and, the, and the gang, Munsfeld and the gang, mm-hmm. Cheney and the gang went into Afghanistan to do this quick war that was going to have. I just finished reading Frank Yerby's The Cyrus and Blade. Mm-hmm. Cyrus and Blade, it, part of the things about the, how the assassins, you know, happen and whatever right. it is. And, um, and uh, so I was talking to this brother on the street. I said, I don't know, but isn't that the part of the world where they invented assassination? You know? <laughs> I don't think it's wise to go into that part of the world. Mm. Okay. And at the same time, Saddam Hussein was saying, you might come in here, but you ain't going to get out. (laughs) I remember that part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let me fast forward to Afghanistan. We know that Afghanistan is not like one central government Mm -hmm. thing. You have all these warlords. But more importantly than that, wait a second. I'm flashing back to like Vietnam and the tunneling. I'm like, Mm. don't these guys live in like caves? And do you know how, don't you... Oh, don't the caves go? I don't know if you really want to have a fight with somebody who mm. got who got extensive like caving in their country and knows their caves. Mm-hmm. So so when 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 Barack want to do the Vietnam thing mm-hmm. or what is stuff, I'm going like, okay, I'm with you on the judges. You know what I mean? I'm with you on the you know we oh post part racial thing. Oh, we so we so mm-hmm. nice and everything's so really hunky dory now. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know I'm with you like you are. In fact, I, I really, one of the most important things about Barack was not the racial speech, but a couple of weeks after that, when he did the financial speech, you know, like I actually understand what he said. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So as a communicator and whatever happens, this boy's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Is probably what they need to save the country. You know are, what I mean? Are we getting the full picture of what he actually is? Oh, probably not. But that's not the point. The point mm-hmm. is the the things that you know, the things that the ding, the ding, the ding, the ding, the ding, the ding. You know what I mean? The 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 that the warmongers are still going to have what they want. You know, and maybe we'll get the judicial mm-hmm. thing what we want and right. whatever, 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 whatever. But let me let me. So I say all of that. I'm sorry to go off point. I'm very sorry. I apologize. It's just Anthony doing the Anthony thing. Yeah, but this is our Anthony special, so <laughs> you get to do that. 
But the, 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 what I'm trying to say, the essence of everything is you have to remain true to yourself, but more importantly, you, you know, you don't, you're not thrown off point mm-hmm. by, by other people's agendas. Mm-hmm. You know, if we're, you know, I, they can throw you off point and anything. They, they can always shovel more stuff. I just stay on point. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I believe that audio drama, modern audio drama, is a cultural revolutionary form. It's, a demo, it's the most democratic art form I know. Mm-hmm. Like, like we're fond to say, you can be a four-foot ogre and play a leading part. Mm-hmm. Play the leading part. You see? It doesn't matter how you look, just how you sound. And doesn't this, doesn't this actually fall into a historical framework? Um, the, uh, the griot, the storyteller, the oral historian, does, does this fit into that dynamic? Most assuredly, but it's even better than that. Well, let me say about the griot. I'll say, again, I've been around. When I was in Senegal, it was really funny because I was in the holy city of Tuba, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Muslim, you know, anyway, it's the holy city of Tuba. You look it up with the bifalls. They're, they're whacked. I love the bifalls. Bar Falls is a, it's a, it's a sect of, of well, the, 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 the big, the guy that got rid of the French out of, uh, out, of, mm-hmm. out, of, um, out of Senegal, right? He had a, one of his generals, this guy, General Fall. Mm-hmm. And after everything was over and they, they, this guy got out of jail, General Fall was never jail. He got out, you know, the other people got out of jail. Uh, this guy, Fall guy, he was so radical. Mm-hmm. When they fasted, he even had the, the babies and the pets fast. And so the, the big guy, you know, mm-hmm. uh, he basically said, look, Fall, you, you, don't worry about that. Here's what I need you to do. You just collect arms, you know, collect the money, whatever have you. And you, he was mm-hmm. always like, so consequently, now you get these guys, the bifalls, they're, they're, they're locked, they're, they're, they're really uh, dredged, the thing, whatever have you. And they hustle tourists for, for money, for arms, mm-hmm. arms for the poor, whatever, arms. For, but they they know, they know, I don't know how many languages they know. They know mm-hmm. a bunch of languages. And they're just radical. I mean, when 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 the um, when the uh, 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 um, I got the guy's picture right here. When the um, uh, what's he what's he called? What's he called? What's he called? What's he called? I do have this picture in my thing. Sorry about this. I got to show you this. This is this is this is. My, I, got, I got a free pass in uh, in Senegal. Any, I can go any place in Senegal, and they'll 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 let me buy. Mm. Um, uh, see the, not, it's not the Iman. That's not what they call there. They're called. Uh, See this guy here? I can go any place in Senegal. Mm-hmm. And, and Sheikh Salahoun and Baki? Yeah, but this is when he was 42 years old. He's <laughs> old now. He's an old man now. In fact, I don't even know if he's still the... Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm trying to figure, Anyway, so, so, so anyway, they, 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 they come and they, if they think mm-hmm. that you're, you're one of these holy men, they, they bow down to you. So mm-hmm. we're in this house, you know, and all these people, we're in a semicircle. And he went in a semicircle, and, I, and I'm just at the, at the apex of the semicircle. And people start bouncing, and people say, no, 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 he's not. A, he, he, no, no, he's, not, he's not, not him, but, you know, one of these yeah. holy men, you know. Yeah. Not, no. But I only bring it up to say, what I found about the Bifalls is, is that when, when you, when you um, give one, you give to, to them all. And these are the guys that, that actually go, and when he, they gave him a, a Lincoln Continental, and he can't drive his car, they all go around, pick up his car, and carry it to the gates, you know, stuff like that. These, these guys are like, whatever. <laughs> I went off. I'm sorry. I just went off again, and, and I can't. No, no, it. it's okay. I've contended that it is when the people who have all this experience actually leave the beaten path of the conversation that the conversation is actually enriched. So um, I don't have any objection to you yeah. going off. But back to the Cape Coast. So, so, so what happens is, is what's going to happen is basically this, my, see, my thing is not about. But had me, you finished with Obama? Obama, I'm through, look, Obama, Obama, Obama. Yeah, I'm through with Obama. I'm Pacifican because I'm into peace. I don't want war any place. And, 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 and if you, if you, if you, any way, any level of government beyond a certain level, you're a war, you're, you're a warmonger. Is, is that practical? Is it is it maybe maybe, maybe Bernie Frank is